Hello everyone and welcome back to Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. So now we have found Flavio, I think. It's been a while since I've recorded. And we need to jump on his boat. Because we need to head to the next area. Hi, mateys. What's up? Right fair weather today, eh? Yet perfect day to set a sail, if I do say so. Wouldn't mind a bit of the whole journey blue and fair as today, no sirree, bub. Oh, very good. I like this guy. He looks awesome. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm gonna be filthy rich. Can't wait to leave port. Hey, Flavio. Even though this dude looks really worried. I might as well tell you, my brother went to Key Old Key and never returned. I get woozy just thinking about it, but I've decided to work up my courage and sail there. To find your brother, right? Wait, what do we got a shopkeeper here for? Unless my dreams will come true, I'm going to open my very own shop at Key Hall Key. I don't care if it's a small ramshackle, it'll be mine. I'll just have to sl one slight worry. Key Hall Key is a deserted, cursed island. You think it'll get much foot traffic? Nope, but whatever. Ah, oh, yes, so it is you. Well, Gregor, you're all excited now. Calm down. And so it is you, ah. Huh? Well, sadly, a slight problem that seems to have popped up. But feast your eyes on this outrageously fantastic ship. She is a fine vessel, no? She is the SS Flavian, the queen of the countless ships in my personal fleet. The raw majesty of her hull, the pomp and circumstance, none can compare to her. Yeah, I'd say she's like, what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten stars. Ten stars, yes, as I can see on the side. Ah, oh, behold, the elegant curve in her prow. She cuts to the very soul, don't you agree? Are we still talking about the boat here? But she is not just a beauty. She is a savage beast on the water, top uh, among sailboats. But above all, I can, I tell you, this proud ship can. Ah, uh, yes? Did you speak? Yes, yes, of course, the problem that has sprung up. Yeah, get to the point, pal. I had completely forgotten about it. The SS Flavian, be she bewitches me. Yes, well, here is the issue. We have no navigator. He ran off the dog. And the navigator, of course, is the highest ranked helmsman. They steer the sh they steer ships, you know. Now, here is the real problem. The waters around Keyhole Key are deathly dangerous. We need an absurdly skilled helmsman for our, uh, for our navigator. It is, how you say, a pickle. Is this guy French? I do not want to do a French accent. Oi, Flavio! Heard you talking there, sir. If you don't mind me saying, I might have a solution. Don't, do not tease me, Papach. You can solve our problem, then spit it out already. Well, sir, I've heard talk of a famed, no, a legendary sailor living in Rogueport. Yeah, I think he's called Admiral Bobbery, a salty old sea dog, by all accounts. But he's said to have the helmsman's touch, sir. He can make any ship bow to his will. Thing is, the right of soul what's seen him in the, on the seas of late. Bassa boom! Problem solved! Let us scout out this Bobbery fellow and get him on board. As is customary, my captain will handle all negotiations. That would be you, Mario. That does sound fair to everyone, does it not? No complaints. Aye, aye, sir. Aye, aye. Oh, yeah, sure. I'm... Then it is decided. You must find this Bobbery and bring him here. Or fail. Fortune sail. Our fortune sails with you. This is mutiny. Mutiny, I say. Everything is just... Everyone makes me do all the work. I'm the captain. I should be giving the orders around here. But no. It's up to the captain to handle all negotiators. I thought that's what we had a negotiator for. Don't we have a negotiator? Luckily, I already know where he is because I accidentally bumped into him. Can I go in here now? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I got everything in here, right? Yes. Yeah, like I said, I accidentally bumped into him. I think for the last video. Hi. You see Admiral Bobbery? Never heard of the gents. Take your search elsewhere. <clears throat> Wrong button, but... Goombella? Who's this guy? That's a bomb bomb sailor. A worker at the dock says he's some kind of legend. I heard he was stubborn, but who knew he'd give us this much trouble? Seriously. It'd be nice if Professor Franklin could tell us something about him. 
So he's going to refuse me. So if I go to Professor Frankly, he's going to say, Oh, he lives next door. And I'm going to be like, Ha! Gotcha! Professor Frankly! Bobbery? That old sea dog lives in the east side house right next door. They say he was a great and important sailor long ago. Yeah, see? Told ya. <laughs> Bobbery! Admiral Bobbery, I haven't the faintest idea who you're talking about. Now, if you please, drop the axe, Super Stash. We already found out that you're Admiral Bobbery. Hmm, <laughs> what poppycock? Tell me, what would you want with me if I were this chap? You say your ship needs a navigator and you want me to do the job? Hmm. So sorry, but you'll have to look elsewhere. I shall set sail upon the sea nevermore. But that's just not cool. You want to see me beg or something? Is that it? You have to come along. Only you can get us safely to Keyhole Key. Awfully sorry, dear boy, but when I say no, I mean no. What I mean is no. Smack. I shall set sail upon the sea nevermore. Away with you. Come on. He's got to do something. What's the next move, Chief? This salty dude's going nowhere fast. I can't figure this guy out. What's his beef with the ocean anyway? Know what we ought to do? Go find someone who knows what this dude's deal is. So... Professor Frankly? Admiral Bobby won't go to sea. That's a setback. Hmm, I don't know the man myself, so I don't know what to tell you, unfortunately. But I'd be willing to bet that Podley knows a thing or two. He works at the Inn's Cafe. I knew Professor Frankly would know. Oh, -ho, Professor Frankly, you the Goomba. Works at the Inn's Cafe. You mean the only guy who works here? Hi. You say Bobbery won't go to that sea, huh? Well, can't say that it surprises me. The real question is, are you folks really sure you want Bobbery back on the water? Yes. Oh, is that it? Now I see. You want to mount an expedition to Keyhole Key. Rough seas out there. Most sailors would meet their ends. Not old Bobbery, though. The fact of the matter is, Admiral Bobbery's tale is sad. Horribly sad, actually. You'll probably end up crying, but I'll tell it to you if you really want me to. Please do. I can take it. I am a man. In that case, get ready. Bobbery's tale of woe goes something like this. <laughs> it's so sad. Oh, wait. You didn't start yet? Bobbery was once married. He had a wife of enduring beauty named Scarlet. The two of them were madly in love. That the sort of love reserved for fairy tales. Now, Bobbery was a renowned sailor, so he was away from home for long periods. Scarlet never complained, though, and always waited faithfully for Bobbery's return. And Bobbery, his eye never drifted. He loved only Scarlet, truly and deeply. So they lived and found happiness where they could, and all was good, for a time. But not all good things can last. It was a particularly icy winter when it happened. Scarlet fell ill. A virus? A passing cold? No one knew, but it soon turned serious. Bobbery at sea on a long, lonely voyage knew nothing of his bride's suffering. By the time he returned, Scarlet had succumbed. She was gone. Bobbery, of course, blamed himself. My loving wife perished because of me. If I were not at sea, I could have nursed her to health, and I could have saved her. He was overcome with such thoughts that tormented him, always haunting in his sleep. He has never gone out to sea since. Gee, what a downer. I guess that's pretty good reason for hating the ocean. You all know this tale now, so tell me, do you still want him to return to sea? Yes. We've had no choice. Very well, I understand. If you're that determined, then I'll give you this. Old letter. On her deathbed, Scarlet wrote to Bobbery a final letter. You hold it in your hands. I don't know what's written inside, but I could tell you what she told me as she lay dying. If I should succumb to this plague and my love should blame himself for my death, then give this letter to him so he may hear my voice. It was her last request. But when I saw Bobbery in misery trying to forget the pain of his, as he mourned his wife, I just couldn't bring myself to present this letter to him. I've regretted it ever since. Please, take this letter and do the deed I was too cowardly to do. Take it to Bobbery. Listen, Podley. 
What is that? Is that Gregor speaking? I don't think Gregor was moving, but he, listen, Podley, thanks a ton. We'll deliver this thing. You feel better, okay? Let's roll, Gonzales. That's definitely Gregor, but he was not moving his mouth at all. You are skilled for a baby. Onward. We shall deliver a letter. Oh, Bobbery. It's a sad tale, but you must get to see. Hello, Bobbery. What? Oh, the by Blabberin's beer, not you again. No matter how many times you entreat me, my stance is firm. Now away with you. Take it. Pardon? A letter, you say? F for me? What? Scarlet? This is Scarlet's handwriting. Scarlet, my love. My love, if you're reading this letter, I am no longer by your side. Because fate has stepped between us, I have decided to write you this letter. If you're reading this, I must have passed away while you were out to sea. I can only assume that you will blame yourself for it, my sweet Bobbery. Bobbery, you're really good at that voice there. That's perfect. Yeah, I don't know the Scarlet, but perfect. Although my life was short, you gave me more than a lifetime's worth of joy. Though you were, mo you will mourn, I beg that you remember that time, like love, is a tide. You are one with the sea, as you were one with me. Do not lose both your life's loves. Time, like love, is a tide. You are one with the sea, as you one with me. Uh, a thousand pardons. May I have a moment alone, if you please? Do do do. Does he need a, a, a stash to wipe those tears? I mean, he's got an awesome one, but you don't want a salty that. Yes, love. I was happy. My sweet, sweet Scarlet. I love you still. Now then, you were looking for a navigator, I believe. Bound for Keyhole Key? Hmm. <clears throat> if you think an old sea bomb like me is what you need, then let's shove off. Admiral Bomery, yes. Oh, wow. Okay. I was like, are we just... The ship's in the harbor, hmm? I must inspect her before we leave. I shall meet you there. Onward. We might actually get the Keyhole Key before this episode ends. What? Oh, I got an email. Probably nothing important. Probably like, you know, daily updates and whatevs. The only email that's important is Peach. Only Peach's emails must get read by me. Where is he? Oh, there he is. I didn't see him for a second. I was like, where'd he go? Did he already run off? <laughs> ah, the smell of the sea. I'd forgotten how sweet a scent it could be. Are we going to break out in song now? If I could just get my mitts on that treasure, I'd never work again by a criminy. I could frolic all day like a big blooming sea turtle. But don't hurt your, hurt the dream. I'm going to speak to this guy. Whoop, didn't mean... No, shut up. I want to speak to this guy. Uh, pleased to meet, um, your acquaintance. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> I knew you would get Bombery on board, you wonderful mustache man, you... To you, I must say ahoy. I was wise to choose you as captain. Ahoy to me as well. My men have already loaded our cargo and supplies. Yes, preparations are complete. If you have no errand, we can depart at once. What do you say? Shall we set sail? Yes, let's shove off. Finally, something captain-y. Very well. To sea, raise anchor, and set sails for thrills and emotions. And romance and money. Our destination is Dread Hall... Dread... The, is Dread Key Hall Key... Red Hulky. Wait up! You don't have to yell, man. You were right there. We're on our way. Arm of us hear me harbors. Rough seas ahead. There's a storm a coming. This is X not one here. Coming back, dude. I repeat, X not one here. Over. Roger, reading you 5 by Infiltration successful. X not black aboard vessel. Repeat, X not black is aboard the vessel. It's like I wonder who that could have been. Hmm. Chapter 5 The Key to Pirates. The Key to Pirates? Is there a key to pirating?
Do, 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 do. Month star day X zero. XO. Over the protests of my crew, the SS Flavian has set sail. Is this voyage as reckless as they say? Ah, I must scoff. Flavio will show them guts. This is Flavio's, okay. Month star X day XX. Another day of good wind, white clouds, they dazzle me. It is as if they are blessing our voyage. Flavio thanks them most heartedly. Can you, like, write something better in your journal? Month star X day X note? Music note? Things are going smoothly, yet I am filled with dread. At this speed, we should reach our destination by tomorrow's sunrise. Skull Captain casts his gaze, red jewel shines and plays, bada boom, basa boom, festival. What kind of song is that? The Stash Brothers, best of friends, three times red, stash lens on his end. Blue stash belly four times is whacked, so let's hear those fireworks go boom at the boom, basa boom festival. Yes, now we are talking. Flavio told you, did he not? Nothing to fear, no. The island is right before our eyes. Do you not see it? It is a mountain of treasure. Oh, ho, ho, I feel fabulous. I shall. Shall I tell you one of my many tales of raw bravery? No, it is no trouble at all. There I was, locked in deadly combat with a sea serpent. Yes, but even then I smiled. Oh, wow, everyone's... Great, he started again. A tale of bravery, right? I heard this one yesterday. There's nowhere to escape, too. We'll just have to listen until he finished. Yeah, if you interrupt him mid-story, he absolutely loses it, too. Oh, why is the... What? Wait, what's going on here? The ship's stopping. Oi, Master Flavio, I'm awfully sorry to interrupt that wicked story. But the ship stopped. Ah? Stopped, you say, to me, after interrupting a story of passion and fury? Well, it is your job to keep the ship moving, yes? Hmm, so take care of it. Oh, aye, aye, Flavio. I'll get on it right quick. W wait a tick. This is what's wrong up there. Tell me. Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it. Just wait a goom stop, goomba stomping moment, will you, scallywag? What? Oi, quit shoving, eh? I'm working over here. I said quit shoving. Ugh. Jump down the hole. There we go. The, the barrier. What is this ruckus now? Who is here? Will someone tell me what's going on? Ooh. No, no, they're upon us. The pirate ghosts. All the rumors were true. Everyone. Oh, even Bobbery's gone crazy now. Oh, we gotta, what are we going to do? I can't even read what's going on here. D -d Don't panic yourselves. It's just a dream that we're all having. Awake. N now, qu quickly, move the boat. Ooh. Oh, there's a lot of them. Oh, ghostly ooey thing. Are you really the savage pirate king? Ay, help me. Fuck up now, everyone. Remain civilized. Relax. Don't panic. Relax. Relax, as I say. I am, you, you simply must take it easy. Or what? Warg! Excuse me. Listen, everyone. If we could form an orderly line, quit shoving. Just forget that. Make a path. Wolverine, look alive, man. I, we must get out of here. Abandon ship. Every rich, marvelous merchant for himself. Even though we're sinking. Every rich, marvelous merchant for himself. Month star, day X star, fortune from disaster. The kindly sea washed us ashore. What strange irony that this island was our intended destination all along, no? And yet we mourn. We have lost three crew members, including Admiral Bombery. It pains me to think they were taken by the pirate king, that ghostly thing. What happens to us now, ah? Huh? We may be lost without hope, stricken in the wilds. Month star, day X heart. We have made a semblance of civilized life here. The ship's flotsam washed in, and we now have salty bread and other salty things. We can live for some time on this salty bounty of the sea, but then what, I ask? 
month star, day, circle, circle. We have built a few huts from the washed up timbers. Ah, poor sweet SS Flavian, at least these shanties keep us out the wind and rain. We still have had no sign of Bobbery and the others, and my heart, she doubts. Still, despite my fears, we must continue to ho hope that they are alive somewhere. Month star, day zero X. Three days on the aisle now, and the huts are all finished. We have carved a life out here, though we all dreamed of a return to Rogueport. Key hole key. Oi, Captain Stash! It ain't much, but we finished a wee hut for you to rest in. Come have a look! So this is where you're going to start me, right on the island, huh? Oh, is there anything over here? No? Oh, huh? It's you! waka -hoo, I'm a waka! We've got some good weather today, right? Makes me feel like nothing bad could happen on a day like today. waka do. waka ow! Don't hit me! Nope, I'm taking your waka bump Because this heals... This is a very good health item. It'll fully heal me, technically. Why am I taking it? Oop, that's not where I need to go. Captain, please help us. Flavio and Parpatch are in a huge fight. They look it, yes. And what about you, Squinty? You turned to jelly when you saw all those ghosts. What are you talking about? You were the one quaking in your boots, fancy pants. Oh, my God. The insults. Wait, wait one moment. Did did you just call the great Flavio Fancy Pants? That's right, Fancy Pants. Fancy Pants. Fancy Pants. Fancy Pants. Okay, yeah. You're... Why, you little Cyclops! Flavio demands satisfaction. You, me, hammers at dawn. Oi, that's right fine by me. I can't wait to put in a few dents in those fancy threads. Everyone's going crazy. They're here! Captain Stash, them ghosts are back. Oh, they are back. Three of them. M Mario, front and center. This is all. This is an order. Take care of those ghosts. I, I'm the captain here. I guess we're doing it. It's like I'm the captain. Can't flee this fight. Okay, so they're ghosts, but they're fire. I cannot jump on them. Gregor, you cannot do any damage to them whatsoever. So, hammer time! At least we'll do have some combat before the episode ends. Goombella, I need some help. Oh, you're going for Goombella. Burned! Oh, they're hard to dodge. Ah, noise! Okay. And Goombella's burned, but that's okay. Time for another hammer. Smack. Does that kill you? It kills you. Goombella, let's see what they are. That's an ember. Sort of a pale blue flame spirit. Kind of spooky. Max HP is 8, attack is 3, and defense is 0. Of course, since this thing is a flame, touching it will hurt. Didn't Mama teach you that? Looks like it's successful to ice or explosive attacks, though, so that's something. If you get hit by a flame attack, you'll catch fire, so try to guard well. Nice. Oh, I just... It's hard to determine when that they're gonna hit. No, Goombella! I need to switch Goombella out. Zamak. Uh... Koops, I think, is the only one who can actually... Oh! Ugh. God, it's hard to dodge. Great, now I'm burned. I am burned. Shamak. Give me the sweet, sweet lovin'. Damn. Alright, Koops, you're in a shell, so this shouldn't hurt you. Aw, oh, yeah. Focusing. I don't think I can. There's no way I'd be able to super guard these guys. Smack. I should have an ice badge, shouldn't I? Lots of experience. Hmm. 
Yes, you're a bloomin' beast, Captain Stash. Too early to celebrate? No, there is surely more of them elsewhere. Ah, someone must investigate the rest of the island. Yes, that would... that... it... what... that is what it must be, yeah. As leader of this expedition, I, of course, should stay here on this. I brook no argument. Ah, yes, of course. Mario, perhaps you could handle the exploration of this island? No way, pal. Ah, well, we cannot just sit here and sun ourselves all day like mermaids, huh? Someone must get out there and look around. This is not a thing to be argued. So, we'll decide this fair and square, hmm? Everyone, all in favor of Mario exploring the island, please raise your hands. All for it. Hell heck yes. Good luck, pal. Ah, there you have it. Well, all count up Well, we all count upon you. Good luck, bold explorer. I swear. Mutiny. It's a goddamn mutiny. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Oh, I want it. I so want it. We battled these guys in the glitz pit. We know what we're doing. Ouch. Oh, sure, we both get bitten, and it's Mario that loses the health. And why are you charging me? Like, we're on a... 